Hi, I'm Jennifer Waldy, and we're here today at the Trail SPCA, and I'm joined by Danielle, and we have Chewy here. So tell yes. us all about this big kitty. Sure. Um, Chewy came to us um, after the owner had moved, and uh, for a short time the neighbor was looking after her, and uh, we're not sure whether it was the original owner or the, the neighbor, but as you can see, Chewy here is quite large. She's about five years old, and extremely obese at the moment so we often get cats here that are too skinny because they haven't been looked after um, and this one here is kind of the end, other end of the scale so um, she's on a diet and uh, we just wanted to show the, the importance of um, feeding proper diet and making sure your cat is healthy. All right Danielle so now we're in the cat room and we have this cutie that's on the other end of the scale so tell us all about this I, yeah, one. Yeah she's a little on the skinny side but that's actually because she recently had a litter of kittens. Um, her name is Cookie and she was actually found stray in the Rossburg area and the, the people actually found her in their barn after she had had a litter of kittens. So they graciously took care of her and her kittens and uh, last week all those little babies found homes. So it's just Cookie now looking for a placement. So she's just a, a beautiful um, black and white uh, short-haired cat and we're guessing maybe about two and a half years old. <laughs> well that's it for us here in Trail and now we'll head over to Blaine Evans in Cranbrook. Thanks yes we're here at the East Cooney branch where we're joined by manager Brenna Baker and this week we've got this little bunny rabbit named Dill who's about six months old and uh, he's been through quite a bit already hasn't he Brenna? Yeah he actually came from a seizure over in the West Kootenays. There were about 40 some rabbits that were removed from a home so they were all in little tiny cages and we ended up getting about six of them. So they're all looking for homes. They're, uh, th this one here is a line head mix. We have a couple other ones that are different breeds, but they're all very nice bunnies and they definitely need a home sooner than later. And then life didn't get any easier when he got to the shelter, did it? Yeah, he actually got attacked by another bunny, but <laughs> he's wow. all healing up. He's been... Uh, He's been doing really well, so he is definitely ready to go into a forever home. And are they good with alone or with other um, rabbits? Actually, bunnies are very social, so they should uh, go in twos if at all possible, okay. uh, just because they do need that. We did have bunnies and our cats got along really good with them, so they do get along with other animals. Um, and there usually isn't a problem there with cats especially. And great with kids. Yes. <laughs> well, if you'd like more information on Dill or any of the other pets that we feature here on adopt a pet you can visit the SPCA's website, spca.bc.ca slash adopt. Brenna, thanks so much for joining us this week. Thank you.